So, I did get my darts all set up. I put the other dart on, which I used to use these a lot in League. I added the atogram to each dart. And the shafts I put on are pretty short, but they're free spinning, meaning the top spins. Obviously, that's screwed into the dart. But, um... They all match. I went ahead and added the um, flight protector. Because, you know, one thing that I think it does, I think it also helps with the shape of the flight. Once you start throwing them, they get all bent up. And if they're all the same, your dart is going to fly the same. If they're bent, they'll fly a, a little bit different. So what I'm going to do is throw a few darts and I'm going to slow the video down and maybe you'll see something that will help you out. So we'll say the line is right here. So I'm going to look directly at the bullseye right now while I'm positioning myself. I don't look at anything else but the bullseye. And then I position myself. My feet are about a foot and a half apart. I'm kind of loose. I lean forward just a touch. Just like this. And then I hold my dart how I hold it, held it in the last video. And what I do, I always continue to look at bull, the bullseye. Then whatever I'm going for, I'll look at that. As soon as I look at that, I'll visualize my dart hitting it. And then I'll smoothly come back and release. As I release, I do go forward just a touch. Um, you know, I don't go forward much, but we'll give it a shot. Another tip for you, you do want your darts sharp. They have dart sharpeners, you just grind it, or you could probably take a little file and do it yourself. Uh, if they're not sharp, sometimes they won't stick. Um, I'll do three more throws, and we'll call it good. So looking directly at the bullseye. Raise up. Now say I'm going for 20. I'll look at 20 and I'll visualize where I want my dart to hit. Practice up, folks. You got, um, you got some good competition out there.